गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिजिक्स इन गवर्नमेंट डोंगर कॉलेज बीकानेर आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द एनलाइटिंग सेशन ऑफ एम एस सी प्रीवियस फिजिक्स आई एम डीलिंग विद द फर्स्ट पेपर एंड आई एम डीलिंग विद द पार्ट क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स In our previous lecture, we were discussing about rotating coordinate system. Before starting our today's lecture on free fall of a body on a surface, I am going to briefly describe about the rotating coordinate system. As I have stated in my previous lecture, that we have two frames of reference one is fixed and another frame of reference is rotating with respect to the the frame which is in rest and we have defined the coordinates in these two frames the coordinate that is stationary is termed as space set of axis and the coordinates in a primed set that means in a rotating system they were termed as body set of axis and in my previous lecture we have derived that acceleration in rotating frame that is prime frame was equal to f minus 2m omega cross v dash Minus m omega cross omega cross r minus m d omega by d t cross r. Here, what are the factors? F effective means the force in primed that means rotating set of coordinate, and F is the force which is in unprimed system of coordinate. that is the frame that is stationary and omega is the angular velocity of rotation of primed system the other factors which i have used are here m is the mass of particle and the other factors are v dash is the velocity of the particle the first term as i have already stated f this is the force in the unprimed set of coordinate and the second term is termed as coriolis force this coriolis force acts when the point r is moving in the primed system and the third term which is m omega cross omega cross r it is the centripetal force if we are considering a system for which the angular velocity of the rotation is constant that means the frame is moving with a constant angular velocity then in such type of frame omega will be constant so we will have f effective to be equal to f minus 2m omega cross v dash minus m omega cross omega cross r that means the last term because of omega to be constant d omega by dt will be zero so my effective force consist of the three terms now here as in our previous lecture we have combined the two terms which were the first term 
and third term the acceleration will be obtained as a dash and by combining the first and third term i have substituted the first and third term as g the acceleration will become out to be ge combining the two terms ge minus 2 omega cross v prime we have derived in our previous lecture till this point so this is our acceleration in rotating set of coordinate now on the basis of this today we will discuss the free fall of a body on earth surface for this purpose we are assuming that we are taking the observation at a latitude lambda this is the diagram i am showing it clearly here this is the latitude lambda that means the direction in which we are assuming that our particle is lot, lot, located now assuming that let this be the x di x dash axis and let it point toward south so the direction assumptions which i have taken are x dash to be south direction and the perpendicular direction of south is east let it be along y dash axis and i am assuming that my frame is rotating with velocity omega along the north south direction since the particle moved toward the earth so its velocity in the rotating system that means v dash will not be taken to be equal to 0 so my lambda which is the latitude now i am deriving its component along the desired axis in order to derive the components along the desired axis here i have shown this diagram again in order to find all the angles this was my latitude lambda since this angle whole angle is 90 and these are two perpendicular directions that means they are making an angle of 90 so this angle resultant angle between the north axis and op axis it will be 90 minus lambda and this whole angle is making made whole angle is equal to 90 so the direction this direction will make an angle of lambda with the axis of rotation now we have derived that m a dash equal to m g e minus 2 m omega cross v dash this is the acceleration or we, the a dash is the acceleration in rotating frame m a dash is the force which is acting in the rotating frame of set we know that velocity is a vector so i have substituted it as v dash in components will be i dash x dot prime j prime y dot prime k prime z dot prime and angular velocity is also resolved in its components now from the diagram we can find the value of omega x dash y dash and omega z dash omega x dash this is the x direction this is the direction of omega resolving it in the two perpendicular direction will get this in this direction component of omega will be omega cos lambda and the perpendicular component will be omega sin lambda 
so the component of omega in south direction which is x prime direction as these two directions which i have shown they are in opposite direction so in omega x dash we will have a negative sign omega x dash will be equal to minus omega cos lambda and y dash is the east direction and in the east direction we have no component of omega so this component will be zero along z axis z prime axis this was the z prime axis and the component is omega sin lambda so we have determined the all the three components of omega so substituting value of components of omega prime and v prime we get the equation of motion as ma prime equal to mge minus 2m substituting the value of omega vector in its component form and v prime in the component form i get my equation as mge here i have to take the cross product and solving the cross product i get the value of force in rotating set of coordinate system now what i am doing i am separating the three components that means along x y and z direction initially i am taking the x direction the x component along x component in the left hand side is m d2x prime upon dt square and on the right hand side i have x component as 2m omega z prime y dot prime substituting the value of omega z prime this is equal to omega sin lambda so i have substituted the value and i got the equation along the x axis as m d2x prime upon dt square to be equal to 2m omega sin lambda dy prime upon dt similarly the equation along y axis will be m d2y prime upon dt square this is on the left hand side and in the right hand side we will have minus 2m from this is the y component minus 2m and the value of omega z prime is omega sin lambda x dot prime means dx prime by dt and this value is 2m omega 2m dz prime by dt and in spite of omega x prime we have minus omega cos lambda now we are left with the third component that is the component along z prime axis on the left hand side we have m d2 z prime by dt square and the right hand side here i am taking minus mge why i am taking minus sign here because as we can see that this is my z prime axis and acceleration ge and z prime axis they are in opposite direction so on comparison of on putting the components along z axis i have to substitute it as minus mge 
and this is the last component that means minus 2m omega x prime y dot prime i have substituted the value of omega x prime omega x prime now here we have assumed that body is falling under the action of gravity since it is falling under the action of gravity and we have assumed that gravitational force is acting in a direction opposite to that of z prime axis so its velocity along x prime and y prime axis will be very small so we are neglecting the terms which have a factor dx prime by dt and dy prime by dt my first component that is equation along x prime axis will become since this is 0 m d2 x prime upon dt square this is 0 m d2 y prime upon dt square it comes out to be the first term is 0 minus 2 m omega cos lambda dz prime by dt and the third term third equation m d2 z prime by dt square it will remain as minus mg since dy prime by dt is 0 so these are the simplified equations of acceleration in the three respective direction now from the first expression i get dx prime by dt equal to constant this is obtained by integrating this expression now as we have assumed that dx prime by dt is zero because there is no deviation in the north south direction on solving the third expression that means the force acting along z prime axis i get on integration the z prime by dt m cancels out minus g e into t there will be a constant of integration which we have taken to be zero because we have considered that body starts initially from rest that means at t equal to zero z dash dot prime z dot prime will be equal to zero now i am left with the second expression this second expression can be written as d2 y prime upon dt square equal to on putting the value of dz prime by dt i get 2 omega get cos lambda i have to solve this expression to solve this expression i am integrating the expression and assuming that initially at t equal to 0 the displacement y prime is 0 and the velocity is also equal to 0 so integral will give me the final expression on double integral will give y prime equal to 1 upon 3 omega g e t cube cos lambda this is the expression for displacement in the y direction y prime direction which is the east direction now we have to find out the displacement in the east direction in order to find the displacement i am taking let body is falling from 100 meter above the ground so i have a distance s to be equal to 100 meter and we have assumed that it is falling under gravity so from the simple expression 
s equal to ut plus half at square if we have initial velocity to be zero that means u to be zero we have t as under root 2h under root 2h upon ge as the height is 100 meter 2 into 100 and in spite of ge i am taking it in centimeters so i have 981 the value of ge from here my t square comes out to be 20 second square i can find the value of angular velocity of rotation omega to be equal to 0.7 into 10 raised to power minus 4 radian per second if we are assuming that displacement occur at equator that means if lambda is 0 for lambda to be 0 I have y prime to be 1 upon 3 omega g e t cube as lambda is 0 the displacement at equator will come from this expression to be equal to 3 centimeters this deflection which is towards east is to is equal to 3 centimeters and it is difficult to be detected this direction east is perpendicular to the direction of omega that means north south axis and the direction of z prime that means velocity of rotation of body hence east direction which is perpendicular to the both omega and v prime this displacement will be due to the Coriolis force as Coriolis force is a force which acts in a direction perpendicular to both omega and v prime so here in our today's lecture we have find the effect of Coriolis force on a body which is falling freely under the action of gravity thank you students for watching